If people are given an easy task, the AMCC isn't activated. If they're given a hard task, in particular a hard task, physical or cognitive, that they really don't want to do, the AMCC levels of activity go through the roof. The AMCC receives inputs from a lot of interesting brain areas related to reward, related to autonomic function, so how alert or sleepy we are, to prediction, to prediction error. It's a hub for many, many inputs and outputs, uh, hormone systems, et cetera. Beautiful experiments done by my colleague Joe Pervizi at Stanford have shown that if you stimulate this brain area, a tiny little brain area in a human, they immediately feel as if some challenge is impending and they're going to meet that challenge. Individuals that are dieting or resisting some sort of tempting behavior and are successful in doing that, the size and activity in their AMCC goes up over time and the structure gets bigger. Dieters who fail, flat or downward trajectory of the size and activation of the AMCC. The theory that's starting to emerge is that the AMCC isn't just about tenacity and willpower to push through hard things, that it may actually be related to one's will to live. 